Welcome to my YouTube channel where I reveal the harsh truth about cheating. 90% of cheaters will fail and I believe that you are one of those struggling cheaters who are still looking for the way to become profitable. But don't worry, with my experience and knowledge, today I am gonna share with you my top tips that will help you avoid becoming another loser and start making money cheating the financial market. So sit back, take notes and let's get started. Do you trade news? Do you treat CPI reports, FOMC meetings and interest rate decisions? If yes, that is the main reason why you are still losing. The fact is, cheaters, that it is extremely hard to treat the news. I want you to realize that during the news release, the market becomes chaotic, the market becomes very volatile and it is very hard for the newbie trader to make objective decision monitoring how volatile is the market at the exact moment of the release of the news. And here's my advice. In the economic calendar, you can see the exact dates and times of the news releases. And moreover, you can see there the importance of the common news. During the moment of the release of the news, you should stay away from trading. You should stay away from trading, stay away from opening the trading positions and your task is to simply monitor how the market reacts. Your task is to let the market decide where it will go. After the volatile movements, the market will decide whether to go up or down and only then, only then you should join the movement. But never treat the news releases. Never ever treat without stop loss. That is the rule. Stop loss defines the level, the exact point where you become wrong in your predictions where the trading setup that you spotted becomes invalid. Please realize the fact that trading without the stop loss, your entire account is exposed. And without stop loss, there is the chance that with just one single position, your entire trading account will be blown. Stop loss order allows you to limit your risk and it allows you to quit your trading position as soon as it becomes clear that you are wrong. Do you know that feeling when you open a trading position, you set stop loss, take profit, and then the market starts going against you and the market comes closer and closer to your stop loss. And you know, you are so scared of losing. You think you still can be right. And it is so appealing to adjust your stop loss, to modify it, to make it a little bit bigger. Because you know the fundamentals are good and the market should start reversing. Moreover, some nice trader posted a very bullish forecast for the spear on trading view. So it definitely should start growing and it is just the manipulation. And then what you do, you start changing your stop loss. The harsh truth is that the market can go against you for a very long period of time. And constantly modifying your stop loss, you increase the potential loss. And at some moment when and the market keeps going against you, you can even blow your entire account. So remember this simple rule. Once you set your stop loss, stick to it. Do not change it. And if the market reaches your stop loss, just admit the loss. Do you trade on your cell phone? Do you analyze different charts on your cell phone? Do you look for the patterns for the key levels applying your cell phone? Cheaters, please realize that the screen of your cell phone is not sufficient for sophisticated market analysis. Please realize that trading is very nuanced. Market analysis is very nuanced and quite often tiny little things can change the entire picture. And when you trade on your phone, when you analyze the charts on your cell phone, you can miss very important details. It is very hard to accurately spot the key levels especially the historic key levels that were respected by the market many years ago. It is very hard to spot them on your cell phone. Moreover, traders treating the price action patterns, applying the indicators, Again, your cell phone screen is very narrow and there you can see only a very short time period, very short time horizon. And for that reason, a lot of things will be missed. 
In order to master market analysis, key levels trading, multiple time frame analysis, the indicators and stuff, you need a widescreen. You need a widescreen where you will see the entire data on the chart and where all the elements will be big enough so you could easily notice them. So never treat with the cell phone. Do you calculate the lot sizes for your trades or you just treat with the fixed lot size? The problem is that most of the traders are too lazy to calculate the lot sizes for their trades and they treat with a fixed lot. And that is a big problem. Take a look at these three trades. The point is that these stop loss values of these three trades are different. One trade has a very tiny stop loss, just 20 peps stop loss. Another trade has 45 peps stop loss. And another trade has 80 peps stop loss. The problem is that trading with a fixed lot, your potential loss will be always different. Bigger will be the stop loss for your trade, bigger will be the potential loss. However, measuring the loss size for your trade, you can risk the same amount of money for all your trades. So no matter how big is your stop loss, you can still risk just for example, 1% of your trading account. Take a look at the chart. What do you see there? A lot of indicators, right? And the problem is that is the classic chart of the struggling trader. For some reason, the struggling traders think that more indicators they have on their chart, better and more accurate predictions they can make. For some reason, they think that all these indicators can be applied in a combination and more indicators they have on the chart, better will be the signals that they provide. However, traders, first, you should learn how to read just the naked chart. You should learn how to read the price action, the key levels, the candlestick patterns, the price action patterns. You should start with the naked chart. And you should remember that indicators are just the additional tools, tools in your toolbox that can just little bit increase your trading performance, but you should master the naked chart analysis and the more indicators you have on that chart, more it distracts and more signals you miss. Never ever treat without the trading plan, without the trading strategy. The fact is that trading the financial markets, you can have thousands of reasons to open long position on a single instrument and to open short position there at the same time. And with the trading strategy, you know in advance what are the exact conditions that you are looking for to open the trade. Your trading strategy defines the exact signals, the exact triggers that quite accurately help to predict the future direction of the moon. These are the triggers that you apply to open the trading position and you should learn to stick to them no matter what and you should never treat without the plan. There is a common misconception among traders that they should treat a lot and more they treat, more money they will potentially make. But you should remember that good trading opportunities are very rare and your task as a pro trader is to learn to spot only the best trading setups. You should learn that the best trading setups are extremely rare and it is very hard to spot them. And it is better to take just one single good treat than to take like 10 bad treats. I'm treating the financial markets for more than nine years. And the fact is that more experienced I become, fewer treats I take. When I just started treating, I was opening dozens treating positions each and every day. And now I open just five to six treating positions per week. And the point is that the quality of these treats is very high and the win rate of this treating setups is very high. And you should realize, as I already said, good treats are very rare. So learn to find only the best trading setups. Struggling traders are trying to treat everything. And they are treating crypto, they are treating stocks, treating forex, they are treating futures. They think that in order to become a profitable trader, they should treat everything. All the financial instruments that are available. But traders realize the fact. More trading instruments you have in your watch list, harder it is for you to monitor them. Harder it is for you to stay focused and harder it is for you 
to monitor the situation among all these financial instruments. Being a good trader signifies paying a close attention to each and every financial instrument that you have in your watch list. And I always say to my students that devil is always in details. And in order to spot good trading setups, you should pay very close attention to the instrument. You should look for the minor tiny clues. Right, and if you have hundreds of trading instruments in your watch list, how can you spot this tiny clues? Yes, it is almost impossible. And here is the rule for you. If you just started trading, pick just five trading instruments that you like. Follow these instruments, treat only these instruments, master trading these instruments, and only then add new trading instruments in your watch list. Traders, all the steps are essential for your trading success. And I was working with hundreds of struggling traders from different parts of the globe. And I realized that these rules help everyone. So consider them. I wish you luck in your trading journey. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. I always reply. Also, traders, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you soon.